this is not in order. Sarah and I am so excited for the video I have for you guys today because it is my first ever bookshelf tour. in the video today. The other 60 books aren't going to be featured because they are currently wrapped for one of my 2019 reading challenges. So unfortunately, we won't be able to look at those books today, but I still have plenty for you guys to see. I have five and a half bookshelves. So I have the three that you see behind me. I have my TBR shelf, and then I have two shelves off in the corner off screen. This shelf over here is my like adult shelf. The shelf behind me is my YA shelf, and the shelf over here is a little bit of YA going down to middle grade and children's books at the end. My shelf all the way at the end is my classic shelf as well as the wrapped books on the bottom of that shelf. And then the shelf a little bit closer this way is my kind of miscellaneous shelf, the rest of my adult books that didn't fit on this shelf and all of my nonfiction. This is going to be a long video. I'm so excited, so let's just get into it. We'll start with the Wheel of Time series, which includes the prequel, The New Spring, the Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, The Shadow Rising, The Fires of Heaven, Lord of Chaos, A Crown of Shadows, The Path of Daggers, Winter's Heart, Crossroads of Twilight, and Knife of Dreams, all by Robert Jordan, as well as The Gathering Storm, Towers of Midnight, and A Memory of Light by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. The first two novels in the Gentleman Baxter series, which includes The Lies of Loch Lamora and Red Seas Under Red Skies, both by Scott Lynch, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, now moving on down to my favorite fantasy shelf, The Alloy of Law, Warbreaker. The first two novels in the Stormlark archives, which includes The Way of Kings and Words of Radiance. The first Mistborn trilogy, which includes Mistborn, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and Hero of Ages, Elantris, and The Emperor's Soul, all by Brandon Sanderson, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, The King Killer Chronicles, which includes The Name of the Wind and The Wise Men's Fear, both by Patrick Rothfuss, A Song of Ice and Fire, which includes A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast of Crows, and A Dance with Dragons, all by George R. R. Martin. Continuing downwards, we have The Unreal and The Real, The Selected Short Stories of Ursula Le Guin, Children of the Sky by Guy Gabriel Kay, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, The Murderbot Diaries, which includes All Systems Red, Artificial Condition, Rogue Protocol, and Exit Strategy, all by Martha Wells, The first two novels in the Winter Night Trilogy, which includes The Bear and the Nightingale and The Girl in the Tower, both by Catherine Arden, The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsenal Rivera, Suspicion by Alexandra Monnier, The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan, an omnibus of the Inheritance Trilogy, which includes The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms, The Broken Kingdom, The Kingdom of Gods, and The Awakened Kingdoms, as well as the Broken Earth Trilogy, which includes The Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate, and The Stone Sky, all by N.K. Jemisin, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, The Cloud Roads by Martha Wells, then I have The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, which includes The Fellowship of the Rings, The Return of the King, and the omnibus edition of The Lord of the Rings. I do have The Two Towers, it's just not on the shelf right now, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. Moving on downwards, yes, the bottom of the last shelf is not the same color because I got the really cheap Walmart shelves, so they didn't bother finishing the underside of this particular shelf. First, we have the first three novels in the Black Prism series, which includes The Black Prism, The Blinding Knife, and The Broken Eye, all by Brent Weeks. The Return of the Black Company and The Many Deaths of the Black Company by Glenn Cook. The Blade Itself trilogy, which includes The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged, and The Last Argument of Kings, all by Joe Abercrombie. The Magicians trilogy, which includes The Magicians, The Magician King, and The Magician's Land, all by Lev Grossman. The Witches of Lynchford series, which includes The Witches of Lynchford and The Lost Child of Lynchford by Paul Cornell, Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Patterson, Quantum Break Zero State by Cam Rogers, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, four novels in the Discworld series, which includes The Color of Magic, The Light Fantastic, Equal Rights, and Sorcery, all by Terry Pratchett, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, The Ender's Game trilogy, which includes Ender's Game, Speaker for the Dead, 
and Children of the Mind, all by Orson Scott Card. Now moving on to the bottom shelf, we have five novels in the Shannara series, including The Sword of Shannara, The Elfstones of Shannara, The Witch Song of Shannara, Legends of Shannara, Bearers of the Black Staff, and Legends of Shannara, The Measure of Magic, all by Terry Brooks, as well as the prequel, The First King of Shannara. Three novels from the Sword of Truth series, including Wizard's First Rule, Blood of the Fold, and Stone of Tears, all by Terry Goodkind, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, The Farseer Trilogy, including Assassin's Apprentice, Royal Assassin, and Assassin's Quest, The Live Ship Traders Trilogy, including Mad Ship, Ship of Magic, and Ship of Destiny, all by Robin Hobb, the first four novels in the Dark Tower series, including The Gunslinger, The Drawing of Three, The Wastelands, and Wizard in Glass, all by Stephen King, The Queen of the Blood by Sarah Beth Durst, The Chaos War Saga, including A Kingdom Besieged, A Crown Imperial, and Magician's End, all by Remy E. Feast, the first three novels and the fifth novel in the Malazan Book of the Fallen series, including Gardens of the Moon, Death House Gates, Memories of Ice, and Midnight Tides, all by Stephen Erickson. Moving on to the shelf that contains the majority of my YA books, Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King, Letters to the Lost and More Than We Can Tell by Bridget Kemmerer, The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan, Turtles All the Way Down and The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Tell Me Three Things and What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, The Wayward Children series, which includes Every Harder Doorway, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, and Beneath the Sugar Sky, all by Shauna McGuire, The City of Brass by S.A. Chakrabadi, Crown of Wishes by Roshni Chakshki, and Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard, The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness, We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Moving on down, we have Red Rising by Pierce Brown, The Martian by Andy Weir, The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, The Kite Runner by Khaled Husini, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, The Strange the Dreamer duology, which includes Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiemi, A Court of Thorns and Roses series, which includes A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight, all by Sarah J. Mass. And on the very end, I have my Amazon Echo. Alexa, say hi. Hello. Moving on down, we have By Your Side by Casey West, The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith, Keeping the Moon, Dreamland, That Summer, Someone Like You, The Truth About Forever, Just Listen, This Lullaby, Lock and Key, Saint Anything, The Moon and More, What Happened to Goodbye, and Along for the Ride, all by Sarah Dessen, To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy, which includes To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Yes, I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Laura Jean, by Jenny Han, The Shatter Me trilogy, which includes Shatter Me, Ignite Me, and Unravel Me, all by Tahara Mafi, Snow Like Ashes, and Frost Like Night by Sarah Rash, The Winner's Curse Trilogy, which includes The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss, all by Marie Rukowski, Swarm, and Nexus by Scott Westerfield. Moving on downwards, we have I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu, The Blue is for Nightmare series, which includes Blue is for Nightmares, White is for Magic, Silver is for Secrets, and Red is for Remembrance by Lori Farah Stolartz, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, Down a Dark Hall and I Know What You Did Last Summer by Lois Duncan, Carry On by Rainbow Rowe, the first three novels in the Mortal Instruments series, which includes City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass, all by Cassandra Clare. The Graceling Trilogy, which includes Graceling, Fire, and Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore. The Divergent Trilogy, which includes Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, all by Veronica Ra. Shiver, Linger, and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study by Maria B. Snyder. Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Full Metal Alchemist Volumes 1, 2, and 3 by Hirumi Arakawa. Now moving down to the bottom shelf, we have the rest of the Mortal Instruments series, including City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire, all by Cassandra Clare. Then we have the House of Night series, including Mark, Betrayed, Chosen, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Untamed, Awakened, Destined, and Hidden, all by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. The Vampire Academy series, including Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Blood Promise, Shadow Kiss, Spiritbound, and Last Sacrifice, all by Rochelle Mead, the Red Queen series, including Red Queen, Glass Sword, King's Cage, and War Storm, all by Victoria Aviar. Now on to the last of my YA books. Laying down in the front, we have The Star-Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi, the Shadow and Bone trilogy, which includes Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising, as well as the Six of Crows duology, which includes Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, all by Lee Bardugo, the Remnant Chronicles, which includes The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness, all by 
Mary E. Pearson, The Lunar Chronicles, which includes Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, and Winter, all by Marissa Meyer, The Wrath and the Dawn duology, which includes The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier, The Queen of the Tearling trilogy, which includes The Queen of the Tearling, The Invasion of the Tearling, and The Fate of the Tearling, all by Erica Johansson, Firebird trilogy, which includes A Thousand Pieces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and A Million Worlds with You, all by Claudia Gray, The Selection series, which includes The Selection, The Elite, The One, The Air, and The Crown, all by Kira Cass. Now for my Harry Potter shelf. First we have the illustrated editions for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. My original editions of the Harry Potter series, which includes Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, as well as Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay, all by J.K. Rowling. And in the corner we have my new paperback box set of the entire Harry Potter series as well. Moving on down to my middle grade shelf. The newest addition to this shelf is His Dark Materials, the Omnibus Edition, which includes The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. Then we have the How to Train Your Dragon series, which includes How to Train Your Dragon, How to Be a Pirate, How to Speak Dragonese, How to Cheat a Dragon's Curse, How to Twist a Dragon's Tail, The Hero's Guide to Deadly Dragons, How to Ride a Dragon's Storm, How to Break a Dragon's Heart, How to Steal a Dragon's Sword, How to Seize a Dragon's Jewel, How to to betray a dragon's hero, how to fight a dragon's fury, all by Cressida Cowell. The Nevermore series, which includes Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow, and Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. The Hunger Games trilogy, which includes The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. The Underlaying Chronicles, which includes Gregor the Overlander, Gregor and the Prophecy of Brain, Gregor and the Curse of the Warmbloods, Gregor and the Marks of Secret, and Gregor and the Coat of Claw, all by Suzanne Collins. Queen's Thief series, which includes The Thief, The Queen of Anatolia, The King of Anatolia, and A Conspiracy of Kings, all by Megan Wallen Turner. Two novels in the Artemis Fowl series, which includes Artemis Fowl and Artemis Fowl and the Opal Deception by Ian Colfer. Moving on downwards, we have the Inheritance series, which includes Aragon, Aldous, Bersinger, and Inheritance, all by Christopher Paolini. The first 10 novels in A Series of Unfortunate Events, which include The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Air Sets Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, and The Slippery Slope, all by Lemony Snicket, Ella Enchanted and Ferris by Gail Carson Levine, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, City of Ember and People of Sparks by Jeanne Dupre, the Twilight Saga, which includes Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, as well as the short Second Life of Brie Tanner, all by Stephanie Meyer. Now onto the bottom shelf. We have The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and Rink-a-Tink in Oz by L. Frank Baum, The K by Theodore Taylor, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, Flipped by Wendelin Van Draken, Freak the Mighty by Rodman Filbert, To Kill a Mockingbird by Hopper Lee, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, Holes by Lewis Satcher, Air Apparent and Now You See It by Vivian Van de Valt, Once Upon a Marigold by Jean Ferris, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle, Three Books from the Immortal series, including Wolf Speaker, Emperor Mage, and the Realms of the Gods by Tamora Pierce, Touching Spirit Bear by Ben Michelson, Down River, Jason's Gold, Ghost Canoe, and Far North, all by Will Hobbs, When We Were Very Young, Now We Are Six, The House at Pooh Corner, and Winnie the Pooh, all by A.A. A. Milne, Henry Huggins, Henry and Ribsy, and Ribsy, all by Beverly Clary, Freaky Friday by Mary Rogers, The Battlefield Ghost by Marjorie Coiler, Francie by Karen English, Sounder by William H. Armstrong, Monster by Walter Dean Myers, Just Ella by Margaret Peterson Haddix, All American Girl by Meg Cabot, My Louisiana Sky by Kimberly Willis Holt, Amelia Bedelia's Family Album by Peggy Parrish, I'd Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Allie Carter, Julie of the Wolves by Jean Craighead George, Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell, Shiloh by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. This is my currently reading shelf, which I keep under my TV. On the shelf, you can see my Kindle, which stays here when I'm not reading anything on it. Then we have Fire and Blood by George R.R. R. Martin, In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien, and Book One of the Belgariad, Pawn of Prophecy by David Eddings. Now moving on to the rest of my adult books, my nonfiction books, and just anything else that I had left over before we get to my classics. First we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, If I Should Die Before I Wake by Han Nolan, Fever 
1793 by Laurie Halls Anderson, The Nightingale and the Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, The Girl on the Train and Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, The Cuckoo's Calling and Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling, and Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Moving on downwards, we have Milk and Honey and the Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Kaur, A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks, It Ends with Us, Maybe Someday, Ugly Love, Confess, November 9th, and All Your Perfects, all by Colleen Hoover. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The Shape of Water by Guillermo del Toro. Then we have the Anne of Green Gables series, which includes Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, Anne of the Island, Anne of Wendy Poplars, Anne's House of Dreams, Anne of Ingleside, Rainbow Valley, and Rilla of Ingleside, all by Ella Montgomery. Moving on downwards, we have the Wallflower series, which includes Secrets of a Summer Night, It Happened One Autumn, Devil in Winter, and Scandal in Spring, all by Lisa Claypool. Love Only Once by Johanna Lindsay, Suddenly One Summer by Julie James, The Notebook, Safe Haven, At First Sight, and Dear John, all by Nicholas Sparks, The Three Sisters Island Trilogy, which includes Dance Upon the Air, Fires of Heaven, and Face the Fire, all by Nora Roberts, The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Buchanan, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series, which includes The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, all by Steve Larson, as well as a small novella on Steve Larson, The Rainmaker by John Grisham, Carrie by Stephen King, the first three novels in the Robert Langdon series, which includes Angels and Demons, The Da Vinci Code, and The Lost Symbol, all by Dan Brown. Continuing downwards, we have the Cushiel's Dart series, which includes Cushiel's Dart, Cushiel's Chosen, and Cushiel's Avatar, all by Jacqueline Carey. Then we have the Sookie Stackhouse novels, which includes Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, Dead to the World, Dead as a Doornail, Definitely Dead, From Dead to Worse, Dead and Gone, Dead in the Family, Altogether Dead, Dead Reckoning, Dead Lock, and Dead Ever After, as well well as the short stories A Touch of Dead all by Charlene Harris and then we're starting on my nonfiction books if you don't want to check out my nonfiction books I have the timestamp of the classics in the description so check that out but moving on to my nonfiction books first I have the more popular self-help novels How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up by Mark Manson You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Robert Kiyosaki, The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell, and The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Now on to the rest of my nonfiction. On the left I have the remaining self-help as well as a lot of financial books, and on the right I have my writing craft books. First we have The Long Tail by Chris Anderson, Free Fall by Joseph E. Stiglitz, The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Claston, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, Pivot by Adam Markell, Free by Chris Anderson, A New Earth by Eckhart Tool, The Gift of Attitude by Sam Glenn, Master Keys to Riches by Napoleon and Hill, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay, Five Levels of Leadership by John C. Maxwell, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey, Take Life by the Helm by Doug Nielsen, Your Next Chapter by Evelyn D. Watkins, Tactical Income by Jeff Tomasulo, Eight Attributes of Great Achievers Volume 2 by Cameron C. Taylor, Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant and Rich Dad's Conspiracy of the Rich by Robert Kiyosaki, 60 Second Time Out by Mike Green, Born to be Rich by Roland A. Roberts II, The Millionaire Map by Jim Stovall, Just Blow It Up by Dixie Gillespie, The Success System That Never Fails by W. Clement Stone, The Tao of Warren Buffett and Warren Buffett's Management Secrets by Mary Buffett and David Clark, A Rendezvous with Destiny by James E. Jans, Business Ground Rules by Tony Jerry and Peter H. Thomas, Mental Toughness by Larry J. Koning. Now for the writing craft books, Bird by Bird by Anne Lamont, Writing Fiction by Janet Burroway, Elizabeth Stuckey French, and Ned Stuckey French, Story Engineering by Larry Brooks, Plot and Structure by James Scott Bell, Aspects of a Novel by Ian Forrest, S.Z. by Roland Barthas, Writing Tools by Roy Peter Clark, Another Edition of Writing Fiction, Self-Editing for Fiction Writers by Rennie Brown and Dave King, On Writing Well by William Zinser, Pride and Prejudice, The Story Grid Edition by Jane Austen, Annotated by Sean Coyne, Stein on Writing by Sol Stein, On Writing by Stephen King, The Elements of Style by William Shrunk Jr. and E.B. White, The Story Grid, What Good Editors Know by Sean Coyne, The Writer's Journey by Christopher Vogler, and Understanding Fiction by Cleanth Brooks and and Robert Penn Warren. Now on to my classic shelves. Unlike any of my other shelves, my classic shelves are organized by author's last name. First we have Things Fell Apart by Chinua Wachabi, Watership Down by Richard Adams, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, House of Spirits by Isabella 
Day, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Emma and Persuasion, all by Jane Austen, Fun Home by Alison Bechtel, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, The Stranger by Albert Camus, The Portable Checkup, edited by Avram Yarmolinsky, The Awakening by Kate Chopin, A Tale of Two Cities, Bleak House, and Oliver Twist, all by Charles Dickens, Sherlock Holmes, The Complete Novels and Stories, Volumes 1 and 2 by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Continuing on with my next classics and literary fiction shelf, we have The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, Dot in the Universe by Lucy Elman, Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Gate of Angels by Penelope Fitzgerald, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, The Granta Book of American Short Stories, edited by Richard Ford, Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, Master Harold and the Boys by Ethel Fugard, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, The End of the Affair and the Third Man by Graham Greene, Tess of the Oberwells by Thomas Hardy, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, The Complete Short Stories of Ernest Hemingway, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, Short Stories, an Anthology of Shortest Stories, edited by Irving Howe and Ilana Wiener Howe, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, Their Eyes Were Watching God and Jonah's Gordvine by Zora Neale Hurston, A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, Jesus' Son by Dennis Johnson, Thousand Koreans, Yasunari Kawabata, The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver, The Jungle Book and Other Classics by Rudyard Kipling. Now moving on to the last of my classic shelves, we have 100 Years of Solitude and Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Nefinger, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, A Dance to the Music of Time, First Movement by Anthony Powell, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, No Exit and Three Other Plays by John Paul Chartres, King Lear, Hamlet, and Two Editions of Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Of Mice and Men and East of Eden by John Steinbeck, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Other Tales of Terror by Robert Louis Stevenson, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Three Novellas and The Cossacks by Leo Tolstoy, The Collected Stories of William Trevor, Cat's Cradle and Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, The Time Machine and the Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, Night by Eli Ezel, A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! City of Ember and People of Sparks. City of Ember. Sarah. Ow. Ow. Fell on my foot. Another edition of writing fiction. <coughs> Sorry, Hamlet. King Lear, Hamlet, and two editions.